Hey, how's it going? Nick here with a quick tool tip. Today we're going to talk a little bit about countersinking holes in aluminum. Now if you go to your local hardware store, you might see a countersinking bit that looks something like this. That has one cutting edge. That's good for wood, not so much for aluminum. You might also see a countersinking bit that looks something like this. It has five cutting edges and it might be titanium nitride coated, that's that gold coated, it might not be. And this will work fine, but these with the five cutting edges I found have a tendency to give you a result that looks something like this, if it'll focus. Or you can see it leaves you with sort of an octagon shaped hole. And that's from Chatter. I'm not exactly sure why the five flute ones do that. It might be quality of the bit or just the fact that it has five flutes. I've tried quite a few different bits and they all have a tendency to do that if the conditions aren't absolutely perfect. Something like this is what I prefer to use. It's got six cutting edges and I buy these from McMaster Car. I'm sure they're available from other places. It's a high quality countersinking bit. Uh, and you might be able to see that it terminates at actually three points in the middle there rather than just six equally spaced uh, cutting edges. And I'm not sure if that plays a role in the finish that it leaves, but these consistently leave a very good shiny finish. They don't chatter, and as long as you don't force it too much, if you just let it cut at its own natural rate of cutting, uh, it, it leaves a very nice finish every single time. 